quota capital constituency. Uh, this is an alteration bill. May I move that a bill for an act to alter the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended to provide for a six for a single term of six years for the president and governors and for six year term for members of the National Assembly and State Houses of Assembly and for related matters. I so move. Honorable Stanley, you want to second? I hope it's not tenure elongation. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. My name is Honorable Adedeji Stanley Olajide, member of I rise to second the motion as moved by Honorable John Deere, the bill as moved by Honorable John Deere. John Deere, did the debate? Um, this is an alteration bill to the Constitution. It's two prongs. And it has to do with the tenure of the president and governors and the tenure of the legislatures, national and states. Uh, first, I'll start with the, the first prong, which is the tenure for legislatures. And my thinking is this. Uh, I have been in this chamber for, by the grace of God, this is the third term. When I came in 2011, over 200 of us came in as new members. In 2015, the same thing repeated, honorable speaker. And this 2019, we have also seen almost two thirds of the members seated here today are new members. Now, the implication of this is that there is no institutional knowledge there is no experience. That is the implication. If every four years you are losing over 200 members, every four years you are losing almost two thirds of the National Assembly members, it means the experience that you should have, the institutional knowledge is lost. And when new members come, you start learning afresh. Now, the argument is this, for the executive, for the judiciary, it is not the same thing. You see a magistrate comes in on level nine, rises through the ranks to become a high court judge, to become a justice of the Supreme Court. It takes him or her not less than 30, 35 years. Now, such a person can easily, very easily, make reference to cases dating 25, 30 years and becomes a bundle of knowledge. You go to the executive, you see a French graduate comes in, stays for 25, 30 years and more to become a director, to become a permanent secretary. Now, that is institutional knowledge, that is experience. And such a person has enough knowledge of whatever it takes of the service. And when you come to the legislature, because it is just four year tenure, and for most constituencies, a lot of constituencies that are seated here, even in my own state, Arbor Speaker, even in Benue State, there are constituencies where people don't stay for more than one tenure at the National Assembly here. You have just four year tenure and you go back. And that means, and that's not the only constituency, and it's not just affecting Benue. A lot of states have such uh, constituencies where people spend only four years in these hallowed chambers and go back. And that means there is no uh, experience. You can see in the quality of the beat for some. Now, if you go to other climes, if you go to other climes, Your Excellency, honorable colleagues, like the US, you see somebody in a particular committee staying 25 years. You see, he has a bundle of knowledge in that committee. Now, what we want to do 
is if we are turning the high turnover every four years, it's over 200, almost two thirds. The implication is that we are losing so much experience. We are therefore proposing that we should have a six year tenure for legislators so that even if you are living after one tenure, you know that you have enough experience for the institution. It is not self-seeking. I am not saying the bill is not self-seeking. It is not asking uh, for extension of tenure for these members. But I think you have given the compendium of your own bill. So allow members to make that contribution. Thank you, sir. Is it me? Okay, Your Excellency, our speaker, our colleagues, I think there is a little misunderstanding here. I want to point out one or two things which I have heard colleagues say, which is clearly a misunderstanding. Number one, I am not seeking tenure elongation for the executive. I am not seeking tenure negotiation for the executive. The alteration I'm talking about is for 2023, going forward. The reason is simple. That's for the executive. The reason is simple. Re-elections of governors and presidents allegedly got three, four times more than the first elections. Now, allegedly, this money has come from the coffers of the states, of the government, allegedly. Now, if you give a six-year single tenure, a six-year single tenure for the executive, the president, and the governors, most likely, you are not going to see a situation where one will fall back to coffers of the states to sponsor elections. That's number one. Number two, the desperation for re-election of governors where limbs are lost, lives are lost, and our common humanity, our common sense of humanity is also lost. Lives don't matter. That will also be cured. So in the intention of this alteration, is not for a elongation of tenure for the executive. Now, for the legislature, I am not saying it should be a single term of six years for the legislature. I've never said that. I think that is also a misunderstanding. What I mean is that because of constituencies where there is only one one tenure. Let us make it six tenures, but it should still be multiple as it is in the Constitution. However, if the mood of the House is that the legislature should be stepped down or the whole thing stepped down, so be it. It's not self-seeking. The, the question now, the question now, Colleagues, I want us to manage. I want us to manage our time. You have already, if you, you, have, you have lost out uh, the opportunity to step down your bill. However, you have lost that one. However, there is one fundamental correction I want to give. This is the House of Nigerian Parliament that we should not be speaking on issues just like the matter you raised this early morning on what the ICPC chairman is alleging members of corruption. Stealing money. You were not happy, you brought it. And for you now to now come back again and use a statement on all the governors as people who are stealing money on election, spending too much, allegedly. If you say allegedly, it's the same matter. I think it is not right 
for me, I want to put a caveat that we should expunge that one as much as possible proceedings. Uh, thank you. No, he has lost an opportunity. The question now is that the bill be read the second time. Those. I said he has lost the opportunity because of the word right of reply. And we have tried as much as possible to save the situation. And uh, as a presiding officer, at this stage, I cannot allow the opportunity because we have gone beyond that. The question now is that those in favor of the bill be ready a second time, say aye. aye. Those against say nay. Yeah. <laughs> the nay <next> have it. <laughs>